Hi, I'm Don Spigall of rcpro.org. We've been working on a giant scale racing class using airplanes with a minimum 80 inch wingspan and a maximum 40cc engine limit. Uh, the OSGT33 is one of the engines that I've been working with and I had run it several years ago and I tried to run it last week with my new test stand setup and it wouldn't draw fuel and I learned I spent the week learning about Walbro carburetors. Uh, I'll probably share that in a future video. I've set up a telemetry test stand that lets me control everything. I have an opto kill switch, I have a servo, I have a battery pack for the flight pack and the telemetry system. I have a um, thermometer um, wire on here and if I turn it on it'll start talking to me and you're hearing gunshots. I live in a rural area. This lets me control control the throttle via the servo and I actually have a readout on the transmitter of the RPM. And I have the kill switch on and there's actually a, a light here. And what I'm gonna do is set it up just a little bit off of idle. And we'll turn the power on. And now I'm gonna arm the kill switch and the red light comes on. <coughs> With a APC 17 by 12 racing prop, it got to 7,800 RPMs, and that's with a just a header. The header came from Max. Uh, the late David McAllister was a uh, tune pipe whiz, and I have this tune pipe I will be doing testing with now that I have my telemetry rig set up. I didn't log the data on that run, so I'm gonna see if I can log the data this time. I'm recording the telemetry data now for this run.
So the engine is set up just the way it will be, uh, except with the exception of the shape of the gas tank. Um, I do not have a velocity stack on it yet because I was waiting until I got my carburetor situation worked out. And uh, I actually bought a $20 carb for an RCGF30 from Hobby King, and I used uh, the, the gaskets and components out of it to get this carburetor working. Um, and it seems to be doing fine. It's turned 7,800 RPMs with a 17 by 12, which is pretty doggone good. And what I'm going to do next is section the pipe to have an isolation. And I'll be able to trombone the um, pipe over it, maybe. Uh, David said you could do that, but it seems to be making quite a few marks. Well, it's just all. Next video, I'll actually run the tuned pipe and uh, may change some props and uh, figure out what works best with the tune pipe. Um, stay tuned and uh, I'll have a lot more videos coming soon. I've been doing a whole lot of work. work my work job has kept me busy, but um, I've got a lot of model airplane stuff in progress and my shop's gotten a lot more clean and uh, I look forward to working with these engines more. Uh, one interesting engine I'm going to be playing with is the Evolution 15GX. Um, I actually got a tune muffler for it from Jet, and I'll have it on this test band, but with not with the, the back plate mount. Um, on my push rod, from the servo to the throttle, I actually had to put a carbon fiber sleeve so that the push rod wouldn't bend. These uh, gas engines, the uh, throttle action on them is pretty strong. You need a pretty strong servo. I'm just using a, uh, I'm just using the JR Sport 47 ball bearing, but I'm going to change it to a higher uh, powered servo. Well, thanks for watching. More videos to come.